at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm Look at fine. her fingernails. Hmm. Super pink. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. Oh, With she was not amused. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can. You had a principal at school that was Mrs. Grant. <laughs> what kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Arts support STEM too. Things will turn around. The arts support STEM too. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate. As always. Mm. Me, her head tilts are like super robotic and they're freaking me out. Hi, I like your hair. Your hair is sick. Hello. Oh, she don't want to talk to me. Final exams. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. Don't miss out on the most important meal of the day. Treat your body. Blech. Fire <gasps> safety. But fire's so pretty. I kind of agree with that one. Fire is no, pretty. Chloe. All Class right. Is back the other way. You don't go that way. Uh, this way. Is there gonna be anything up here? Hello. Can I tag anything? I don't think anything's taggable. Crate. I can sit on it. I'm gonna sit us on a crate. This is the best crate. I should probably be getting to class, but. I just don't care. I like these little cinemagraphic last night really happened shots. The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and Rash to firewalk? Mm, Either that walk was on a the dream stage. or real life just got a shit ton crazier. I really do like the soundtrack. It's very mellow. No, 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 no. Damn it. Principal Wells. Hi. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm at. Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's no, you're guy not a safe, safe space. space. Liar. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I didn't see it before I walked on stage. I didn't do it, swear. I didn't do it, swear. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Oh, jeez. Do I look amused to you? <laughs> no, I've only seen you with one expression. Damn, she's That's sassy. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I think. Oh, I was like, I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. Uh. How does that sound? 
Fine. All right, sir. That's funny. A lot of the, what I say turns out to be what she says. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. He walks like he has a stick up his ass. Do you see that? Oh, he disappeared. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in. That's not fair. I didn't see that sign first. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to tag something. Oh, I found a corner. No sucking on tampons. Oh, crap. I don't know why I thought it said, like, was going to smoke the freaking... Damn it. What did, what did this say on my hand? Shit, I'm missing all the things. For some, some reason, I thought it said Students was going to smoke have this hard the to sign. The and then she has something like, written on her hand. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Then you bunk it Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Getting all swoony. What are you being weird for? Hmm. Jade's being weird over here. Got a wall. Yeah. Need my something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Wait, there's gonna be no. I have to do it because it's an achievement thing in my brain, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be cameras see me doing it. Principal Wells rocks. <laughs> Principal Wells rocks. Ladies and gentlemen. Principal Wells. Yep. Pretty sure. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate I'm my art. Oh, I got two new things. All right. Max. You know how things, Mom, seem like they couldn't get any worse? Ha, huh? the sad truth is I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her because I can't be both. But now... But how can I keep being nice and pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice with mustache? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of our house? Today, it's a toolbox and a pot roast. Tomorrow, it's... I should stop there for Sandy's sake. Honestyville, nice bird. And yeah, I know Mom is stressed about money issues, but that still doesn't justify her horrible taste in men. Also, Mom knows I've been skipping, which sucks, but in a way, it makes me feel better about it. Does that make me a bad person? I don't feel bad about fucking off, just relieved that I don't have to waste the energy to lie about it anymore. On second thought, don't answer that. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. Hey. We slurping. Alright. This Max thing is always here. So the mustache drove me to school today. Yep, that's what my life's become. Even worse, he thought that ride was like a tell me how things are gonna be from now on opportunity. You'd be proud of me. I kept my mouth shut like a good little girl or a good little serial killer. There's more than one way to skin a, skin a David. I had a dream about Dad again, the one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember There's real, what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much I miss him. I hope this, that never goes away. The Chloe who wasn't there, or was I? HA! That's a reference to one of my favorite cartoon movies of all time that nobody knows about because it's an obscure movie that you can find on YouTube. It is freely available and the whole thing is there and it's fantastic. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's really short. It's like an hour long tops, but it's called uh, the dragon that wasn't or was he fantastic movie. Everyone go watch it. I love that movie. Uh, William. I already read that one. This is new. Not that one. This one is. As far as Blackwell students go, Elliot Hampton is pretty not terrible. He hangs out with some of the douchers sometimes, but I get the sense that he's mostly a lone wolf. Like this chick. Similar to my class schedule, Elliot and I have history, but no chem but no chemistry or drama. Ha! <laughs> we hooked up a few times shortly after Dad died, but there wasn't really much to it. I think I was just bored or maybe a little lonely. Weird, I know. I don't always get where Elliot's coming, Elliot's coming from. He constantly asking to do stuff with me, which is nice, but I'm not sure we have that much in common anymore. Sometimes 
when we talk, it seems like almost he's studying me. I can't tell if he actually wants to be friends or just get in my pants. I guess I should be flattered either way, but I'm almost not sure how much I care. Sorry, Elliot. Uh, I read that one. That one, that one. Has kissed girls, has not kissed ever. <laughs> All right, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Ah! Mikey and Steph. I haven't met them yet. I met Steph through text message. All right. Steph has kissed girls. Mikey has not kissed ever. I can never decide if Steph is the coolest or nerdiest person in all Blackwell. Maybe both. She's definitely queen of the indoor kids with all her weird role-playing games and sci-fi shit. I love her already. I guess her dad is a video editor. She makes some sweet cash by selling bootleg DVDs. Don't knock the hustle, and I'm pretty sure Steph does all the backstage technical work for the school plays, which checks out. Another thing about Steph, she's into girls, and she doesn't give a shit when anyone else thinks about it. Mikey North is the captain of Steph's fan club, and the two of them can be found huddled around tables rolling 20-sided dice whenever they have the chance. If life were one of those 80s movies Dad used to watch, Mikey would be the nerd that the jocks give wedges to. In the real world, if someone messed with Mikey, they'd be in deep shit. Mikey's older brother is Jude North, Blackwell's alpha jock. Sixth level flaming gauntlet of awesomeness. I freaking love this. The truth is Mikey is one of the few genuinely nice people in this place. Although every once in a while he says something that reveals a darker outlook on life. No idea where he gets it from. Maybe Star Trek. All right. All right. I think we're caught up. Press and hold to view objective. Get DVD from Steph. That's what's on my hand. Okay. I meant to ask you, what did you see that crazy Overwatch game last night? Uh, which one? There was like four. Uh, one of the Overwatch League guys. Fountain, Victoria. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Hi, Victoria. Uh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Yeah, she kind of sucks. Oh, Carrie Price. Oh, God. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Wow, humble, humble, humble brag. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting I me up on I regret talking to her. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? I regret talking to her. Rachel Amber. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> we murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. Mm -hmm. We're really not. Uh, so You're just trying to get she into? information. You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. What a bitch, so, man. I mean, look at your face. Seriously. Oh, I don't my know God. You're talking to me about Rachel. You see oh, what happened to my face? I will do the same to you. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's yep. what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, At least God, I realize it. I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment and your- and me, 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 me. Oh and God, me. I hate her so oh. much. I forgot. Walk in, walk away. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? Oh my God. It's close. I hate this game. I hope you trip up the stairs with your crappy swagger. Samantha. Hi. You look nice. Samantha Myers. School wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hi. Hey, Samantha. I like your voice. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? The King's Row game between Atlanta and Guangzhou? Yeah, I did see that one. I... 
didn't think you did homework. Well, <laughs> I lurked I it, I should say. But the play was actually good. What did you I was surprised about? Atlanta actually beat <laughs> the undefeated New York Excel last week. Shit. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. Undo? It's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. That was a very strange interaction. I really didn't mean anything. It's okay. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Can I take this bike? Oh, here's the skateboard guy. Dang it. Can't jump rope. And at 8 7, they. Holy crap, dude! I didn't see it that far. That's impressive. Who won? I hope Guangzhou. Because I'd like their skin. And they're actually a lot of good players. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Cloud of weed smoke. Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly <laughs> weed. what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Want a hit? Like, right here? Ew, Thanks. now I smell like you. Chloe, what's the latest? Mm, crazy house party. Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Guangzhou, nice. Wow, no shit. It was the highest scoring King's Row game. Was like All right, central. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the VOD. I didn't know it lasted that long. There, Whatever, it was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. All right. <laughs> Guess I'll see you in class. There's a bunch Word. of people in the background. Check it out. Creepily standing there like zombies. Oh, this is that pretentious dude. I remember you. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. Oh, maybe it's not. According to the Department of Forestry, <sighs> over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Okay, this is I don't remember this being the pretentious dude. Wildfires are awesome. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. Say knob cone no. again. <laughs> Look at her doopy smile. Say knob cone again. Why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you <laughs> actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely Ooh. sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. 
I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Mm. <laughs>